You're at the mall. You're getting hungry, and everybody's trying to lure you in. Step right up. Hit a burger, get a burger. Hot potato, get a burger. Hot potato. Hot potato. Please, oh, with a chili dog. But nothing can lure you away from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Taste a chicken sandwich. you love it for good. Hi, welcome to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. love it for good once you taste it. Tender nuggets so good. Come on and taste it. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Hey guys, today we are in front of Chick-fil-A and we are here for the debut of the new honey pepper pimento chicken and they also have a new milkshake. We're gonna go in there and get both of them and bring you guys with us. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. All right, let's take a look at the price of the new items. The Caramel Crumble Milkshake, $4.75. And the Honey Pepper Pimento, $6.85, sandwich by itself, $10.55 for the meal. And you can also get this as a spicy one. All right, here we go. The first new item, the new Caramel Crumble Milkshake, or Caramel, however you want to say it. It is Chick-fil-A Ice Cream Soft Serve Vanilla, Blondie Crumbles, Whipped Cream, and a Cherry on top. And the price is $4.75. Now, before you drink this, Bobby, I'm gonna kinda of tell you what else is in here, what it said on the website. It said it has pieces of white confectionery coating scattered throughout. So there's gonna be some crunchy stuff in there. That is a thick shake. I like the little cookie pieces inside. Gives you that crunchiness. But I get a lot of a butterscotch flavor to this. Well, that's because of the blondie cookies that's in there. This is very good. Their uh, milkshakes always look so pretty too with the little cherry in with cream on top. This has Chick-fil-A's signature ice dream ice cream. Started in the 40s. Chick-fil-A is 77 years old. I'm gonna go after it. That has a rich caramel taste to it. You can really taste those blondie cookies in the bottom, which is giving you that butterscotch flavor because that's what a blondie cookie is, a butterscotch brownie. No butter fat in Chick-fil-A's ice cream. That's about the only thing that's different in theirs and other ice creams. It's pretty decent. It's kind of rich flavor too. But not bad. $4.75. You decide whether you want to get that. Very thick though. It says it has pieces of white confectionery coating in there. I'll just try one more, see if I can taste the difference in that. Now I can taste two different things in there. You can taste the cookie and you can taste some of that sugar coating in there. Added texture to it. So if you like a little crunch in your milkshake, you're gonna like this. All right, let's take a look at the new limited time honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich. There's your toasted bun. Pimento cheese in there. The Chick-fil-A filet. And instead of pickles, we have some jalapenos on there. About four of them, it looks like. One reason Chick-fil-A's chicken tastes so good is that it's marinated in pickle juice. They used to do that in the restaurant, but today it comes in like that. But they still hand bread every piece of chicken on site. Looks pretty good. Looks like they put a lot of the pimento cheese on it. I like this little wrapper. Well, the cheese doesn't drip off, especially if you have like a white shirt or something. John, I think you forgot to mention there's also honey drizzle on it. I did. See a little bit. Is a little bit of a sweet flavor. I like the pimento cheese. It's creamy. The jalapenos give it a little bit of heat, but not a lot. This is a very good sandwich. The chicken's nice and tender. I like the crispiness of it. But I'm still more of a fan of the pickles than the jalapenos. 
but they give you the spiciness. Well, John, you were talking about how their chicken is marinated in the pickle juice. That's probably why it's one of my favorite pieces of chicken because I love pickles and also tenderizes it. So I decided to get the spicy filet on the honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich. Let's take a look at it. Looks exactly the same as Bobby's and you can see that honey on the side of it. Anime jalapenos that I get. I got three on a toasted bun. I read what Chick-fil-A's using in their pimento cheese and it is smoky green chili peppers, sweet roasted pimento peppers, blended cheeses, and spices. All right guys, one year in developing this sandwich. Let's see if it's worth the wait. One more look at it. See some honey over here, so I'm gonna go in on this side. If I get a jalapeno, all gonna be in this bite. Now I took more than just the one bite you saw just to get a better idea of what this tastes like. It says it's mild jalapenos on there, but they do have some spice to them. I like that little kick to the sandwich. Now this filet itself is spicy, so it's gonna be a lot hotter than the one Bobby has. It's a good sized filet they gave me, crispy. Now the pimento cheese is creamy. It's not spicy, I tried it by itself. It's good flavor, it's a good combination. It's a little different than uh, eating it with pickles on it. Now the one thing about this one being a spicy filet with that honey on there, you can taste a little bit of it, but it kind of gets blended out, I think, with the spice of the jalapenos and the filet itself. But you can still taste a little bit of that sweetness in there. Now you're getting all kind of different flavors in here, but you're getting some salt, some sweetness, some savory. Just a great sandwich, guys, with a lot going on here. Chick-fil-A did a great job on these. Now for the side, we got macaroni and cheese, and this is baked here in the restaurant which forms that crispy top on it. It has Parmesan, cheddar, and Romano cheese in it. Three cheese mac and cheese. We're eating a lot of cheese today, John. We are. Pimento cheese and the three cheeses and the macaroni and cheese. I think I'm getting a little bit of the saltiness from the Romano yeah. cheese. But I think the cheddar cheese overpowers that. I don't really taste the Parmesan very much. I do like the little crispy pieces on top where they bake it. The new are nice and tender. This is the first time we ever tried their macaroni and cheese. It's very good. It's creamy. All right, guys, I'm going to go after this baked cheese on top where it's crispy. I'm going to agree with Bobby about this being so creamy in there. Now, that's a little sharp. So I don't know if it's the cheddar or the Romano cheese, but it is very good. And I like that it's baked here and you have some of that crispy or burnt cheese in there to add to it. I would get this again. This is probably better than the fries. We've seen some of the comments before. People said that you guys think that Chick-fil-A has some of the best macaroni and cheese in the business. I'm gonna have to agree with you on that. That's good for fast food. I'm gonna try the spicy one to see how much heat is in it. Look, your chicken's hanging all the way over. It is. <laughs> I got a little bigger piece than you did. This one's very good, but it's a little too spicy for me. When I took the first bite, it wasn't too bad. But I think you give it a couple seconds and it, you can feel the heat come through. And I don't taste as much of the honey as I did online. I'm gonna try the original version of the pimento sandwich. Now, when I tried the spicy one early on, I said the honey gets overwhelmed by the spice, and now I can see it. Because tasting this, I can really taste the sweetness of the honey on here. Everything else tastes about the same. Great pimento cheese. I like the spicy one better because I like that little kick in it. Let's take a look at our receipt here at Chick-fil-A. Bobby got the combo honey pepper pimento cheese sandwich. $10.55, we upgraded $1.54 for the mac and cheese. I just got the spicy sandwich by itself, $7.25. The milkshake, $4.75. Grand total, $25.64. Well, we just left Chick-fil-A after trying out a couple new items, but what did you think about their new honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich? <laughs> That's a lot to it say. It is, tongue twister. <laughs> their chicken sandwiches are probably my favorite thing to get here. I like the pimento cheese. I think that just added some different flavor to it. The creaminess of the cheese, the sweetness of the honey, I really like that. But instead of the jalapenos, I would put pickles on that sandwich. I tried John's, 
a little too spicy for me but i did notice i didn't get the sweetness as mm. much with yours that, like i did with yeah, mine i, I think either. the heat overpowered with yours the macaroni and cheese that's the first time we ever had it they bake it there all those three cheeses that was very good also chick-fil-a always has some of the friendliest workers they never seem like they're understaffed and just it's always a very clean restaurant isn't it yeah because they're always going around as soon as somebody gets up they're cleaning that table i think chick-fil-a pays a little more than some of these other fast food places first thing i'm going to talk about is the caramel crumble milkshake i do like this it tastes like a butterscotch milkshake so it should be called the butterscotch milkshake caramel is basically white sugar Butterscotch is brown sugar. If you look on Chick-fil-A's site, it says it's a caramel butterscotch flavor. That's what you're getting. And what else is great about this? They have those little confectionery pieces in there like sugar. You can really taste the crunch from that and the crunch from the blondie crumbles. So this is very good. So if you like butterscotch or caramel, you're gonna love this. The ice cream's decent. $4.75 for that size. Told you inside, you decide about that. Now, let's talk about the pimento chicken sandwich. I did enjoy that. I like the jalapenos being on there. It kicked it up a notch. They're probably a mild to medium jalapeno. They're not super hot, even though Bobby thinks they were. But I also had the chicken filet that was spicy. So that did take away some of the honey flavor. I could get a little sweetness from that, but the spiciness of the two things together took that away. But it was good. I would get that again. I thought it was a great mm -hmm. combination to go with that, with that creamy pimento cheese. The mac and cheese, if you like sharp macaroni and cheese, you're going to like that because I thought it was pretty sharp. Did you? Mm -hmm. Whether that was coming from the cheddar or the Romano cheese, I don't know. But I liked all that. So this was a good trip in there. So I think Chick-fil-A did a great job on these two new limited time items. And you guys should go try one. And all, since I tried Bobby's, if you like a sweetness, you would like the regular one because that honey does shine through on mm -hmm, the regular one did. more than mine. Or maybe mine didn't have as much honey put on it either. I don't know. But I did like them both. But I like the spicy one better. I'm going to keep that recipe that you wrote down for the pimento cheese. I'm oh, yeah. That's their that. secret recipe. Mm -hmm. Maybe put some on some crackers or something. It's not secret anymore. <laughs> so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah. So until we meet again, J&B have left the building. building.